Okay, a new show, new show. Tell Me Your Story is a new series that will be starting from my house. Call me and tell me something interesting that happened to you or if there's something you've learned and you think the rest of us should know as well. And if there is, call me. Things are going pretty serious right now. On I mean. this first episode, I'll be talking to a friend of mine. Her name is Pris. And she, um, she found that her baby stopped breathing turned purple a few weeks ago. And, and they rushed her to the hospital. They did the infant CPR and, and the baby is fine now. So I'm going to call Pris and find out a little bit more. Hi, Pris. Hi. So tell me what happened. So on the 2nd of April, or about 9pm, we're about to put our baby to sleep. Um, she's already started fasting for milk, so she was very, very impatient. And I decided, okay, you know what, I'm going to latch her first. Because mm. she was really like screaming, crying, right? So I was about to put her to my book, and suddenly everything hit pause. She stopped responding, her mouth was open, but her whole face was red. And oh it's like... Gosh. And her yeah, eyes? It, it basically, she was dead, and that happened. Lucky my helper was beside me, and immediately her reaction was to... To, baby, baby, wake up! And yeah. then my other helper rushed in. She saw that she grabbed the baby and she started like, baby, wake yeah. up! And my baby was still unresponsive like that looking at me, you know. So I was like, at the point of time, I think it was really just a blur. I started panicking. The feeling of loss immediately came upon me. And all I did was to shout for my husband, like crying and shouting for my husband. So when he came in, it was very, very fast. It was good. He had some parental instincts, I don't know. So he grabbed mm. the baby. He actually pressed down her chest and blew into her mouth, which mm. is a CPR. Of sorts. And she came back crying, like everything was back to normal. But it was mm. a super, super frightening event. So you, you brought her to the doctors and then what did they say? So yeah, the doctors actually ordered us to go to the a &E immediately. He actually informed all the nurses and doctors. They were already there to wait for us. And I, I think you can see how severe that is, right? Yeah. They were already waiting at the door. And they checked her vitals, they did everything and... Basically, the doctor was like praising Paul that he knew what to do at that moment because mm. a lot of times these things happen, the baby comes in and they can't do anything anymore. The one that Adelia actually got was called ALTE. It's mm -hmm. called a barren life-threatening event. ALT could happen when a baby like is crying or have milk aspiration and it from this a barren life-threatening event is a very brief event. ALTE is at that moment the baby stopped breathing and it might seem like death. Mm. So to the parents, it's like it looks like death, lah, but it's not. Before we were discharged, the doctor sent us, I mean, like, he basically tell us what to do. I will use Adelia, but the thing is she's asleep, so I will use this money. Okay. So when your baby is unresponsive, or you're finding, like, you stop breathing for whatever reason, the first thing you should do is tap the leg first. Because? That's what the doctor say. You because don't know why, lah. Like, trigger a response. So, okay. you always try to beat the leg first and see whether the baby responds. And if the baby is not responding, uh. So, you see the two nipples on your baby, right? Uh -huh. So, what you do is to make sure that it's in the center of the two nipples. If for a lady, right, you just basically put your thumb like this, in the center of the nipple, like that, uh -huh. and press 30 times. Ha! Huh. Okay. <laughs> That's a long time, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. Like, quickly take your baby and press yeah. it down 30 times, and then blow into the mouth. Right. Oh, that's very so different from adult CPR. If you have anyone at home, they should call the ambulance while you are doing that. So, what, what's the post-treatment now? Like, what do you do now? There's absolutely nothing. Because there's no explanation, there's nothing. So, when you go to a hospital, they'll check your vitals, your heartbeat, and they'll keep you in for 48 hours just to see if it happens again. Right. And if it doesn't happen again, usually it's a one-off event. Mm. Touch wood, yes, please be a one-off event. And there's no post, nothing. If, if all the vitals and they check your blood, they do all the works. If it's nothing, then it's like... It's nothing, your, your life goes back to normal. Mm. You just got to live with that memory mm. lah. So how, yeah. how, how does that change like how like everything at home? Um, I think we are more careful. Like last time maybe you think like, oh baby cry, just take your time or something. But now when Adelia cry, I can feel like everyone is a bit more tense. Like like it's still living in our memory a little bit. So we will rush and attend to her. Mm. And like I mentioned, I feel like I love my baby. I always knew that. But through that incident, I realized like how much this... That the feeling of loss cannot be comprehended because I kept thinking about it and I also like blame myself yeah. whether I did not pick her up fast enough or was it like my fault like how come I did not know the baby CPR beforehand all I knew was to panic and after talking to you John I realised that I've come to terms with it lah Alright, Th thanks for sharing your story please is there anything that you want like other parents to, to know or take note of? I really want moms, new moms especially, uh, if your baby is a preemie or even if your baby is a healthy baby, don't take that for granted because babies are very, very fragile. It's nice to take photos of them and everything, but the truth is they are very fragile, so 
please just be alert with them and learn your baby CPR. In that circumstance, you'll never know whether you're alone or you're with your husband. But mm. yeah, just make sure you know what to do because it could really save your baby's life. Okay, thank you, Pris. Thanks for calling. Thank you. See okay, ya. I'm gonna hang up now. Bye bye. So that was Priscilla. Thank you so much, Pris, for sharing your story with us. When I first heard this a few weeks ago from her, I was like, shit, what the hell is that? If you also went shit, what the hell is that? Then please share this video with your family and your friends. And if you have an interesting story that you think you want to share or something that you've learned and you think the rest of us should know as well, then please hit me up. I very, very awkward. My mother's over there. My wife is over there. Bye-bye, um, guys.